Hey, everybody, let's put them in the win column. Scott Sprites are here, Doug Upstone there. We are DocSports.com. It is NBA playoff weekend, round number one. We're looking at the Hawks and the Knicks. Begins on Sunday, Atlanta, about $1.20 uh, to win the series as of Thursday afternoon. And uh, first of all, I think the series goes seven. I'm just going to jump out right now on a limb, so to speak. And I'm kidding when I say that and say it's going to be a deep series that goes seven. Uh, but I read an interesting article about how hard Tom Thibodeau teams play in the regular season, Doug. They go hard every single game, every single night, every single practice. And it gives them an advantage, as the article said, many nights when opposing teams are, for lack of a better work, uh, word, I should say, lollygagging uh, yes. or taking a little bit easy from time to time, game management, all that kind of stuff. And the article went on to say that the advantage is long gone in the postseason when Tom Thibodeau's teams get to the playoffs because everybody goes hard every game in the playoffs. Made a lot of sense, and it could explain his sub-500 playoff spread record, Doug. Yeah, it certainly does. And, you know, that and the, the, the a good question, let's say now this is a, had nothing to do with this year, but uh, let's see if he's still the coach in three years. Uh, this was a, a team, a young team, essentially, that is starved to be into the playoffs and to starve for winning in general. Well, once you start winning and then all of a sudden that grind, as we've seen everywhere he's been, he, it wears out kind of like, well, I mean, there's any number of in different sports, different coaches, different managers, you know, that wear guys out. And he's a le he's the leader of the NBA. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. I, I look at that and I see that team just going for, you know, again, they're just going all out every single game. And, and I'm sitting there going as a player. Listen, I get it. You know, you want to win as many games as possible. That's the object. And of course, the overall object of the game is to win a championship. And I just don't think it's the best when it comes to the playoffs and trying to win championships. That doesn't mean he's not going to win the series, but I agree with you. Let's see, you know, three years down the road, if the players who have grown up a little bit over that time under Tom Thibodeau still want to have to go hard almost every night of the week. And that includes practice, by the way, too. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's that's another big thing. That was always a big complaint, you know, especially in Chicago. I know that mm -hmm. he wore those guys out, you know, just from that standpoint. But Scott, you know, these four or five matchups, for the most part, they're, you know, they're always great because they're so competitive. You know, they're, 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 the teams are so equal. And, you know, look at these two teams. They're both 41 and 31. The only reason the Knicks have the home court advantage is because they went 3-0 on the Hawks this year. So that's that's how they how they earned that. Sure. You know, both teams come in hot. Hawks have won 7 of 8. Knicks uh, 16 out of 20. So both teams are playing, let's just say, their best basketball. Uh, in Atlanta's case, they're probably as healthy, you know, as they've been all year. Uh, here's the thing, though. Um, I'm looking at this, you know, uh, the let's just say the lack of playoff experience for both teams. In fact, Scott, in terms of playoff experience, both you and I have more. Now, it's not on the court, but it's it's uh, talking about betting and giving out selections about things that happen on the court. So both these sure. teams are newbies. We're not really sure what's going to happen. Here's what we do know. Trey Young gives them gives Atlanta a tremendous advantage at point guard. That's a given. With the From the Knicks standpoint, the Knicks have a superior bench, okay? They get more points off the bench than most teams on a nightly basis. So that's their edge. So with me looking at this one, I'm looking at game one, and then also, like you, game seven, and for the series, just the slightest of leans with the Knicks. I think it's going to be razor thin, and uh, that's where I got. Scott, dial it up. Yeah, what do advantage you have for New York. For advantage for New York is that defensive efficiency, which they're head and shoulders above Atlanta. Uh, but it's the other way around on the offensive end. You know, Atlanta's got the better efficiency numbers when it comes to how they play on the offensive end. And I'll tell you one of the things that I'm looking at, Doug, you can get over five and a half games, the series to go more than five games and lay around two bucks if you think it's going deep. And I think to me at least, and I'm not saying this is a best bet, but the best bet in this series to me is over five and a half games. I really believe that. Again, around minus 200 in the couple of spots that I saw it. Uh, Going to lean to the Hawks ever so slightly. The Knicks have one of the top marks when it comes to opponents missing open shots. I don't think you can count on that in the postseason. And, and it comes down to really all those things that I mentioned when we started this video that the Knicks are playing so darn hard every night. Other teams are looking at game managing and things like that throughout the course of the season. The Knicks are knocking you all over the place. I, I, and I was kind of reading this in the same article that I mentioned earlier. They're talking about, you know, you miss open shots 
when you're not playing full speed, so to speak, every single night, you're not getting more than, you know, 30 minutes a night, and you're getting roughed up by another team who does take everything so seriously every single night. So they're number one in the league in teams missing open shots on the season. I don't think you can count on that in the postseason. So again, ever so slight, as Doug just mentioned, I'm going to lean towards the Hawks as far as the series, but I think it's going deep. And again, I think the best bet on in this series is over five and a half games. So that's where I'm going. And and uh, But good stuff, man. I think this is going to be a great series to watch. I think you're going to see two teams that are really going to go at it, and we're going to watch this series yeah. for several games. At least I hope so with what I just said. So, hey, folks, you see that free $60 account at the top of the page? Well, down underneath the video, you can click on a link and set yourself up for that free $60 account if you're not yet a member over at DocSports.com. Then you can use those free 60 bucks on any of Doug's uh, daily packages, any of mine, anybody else on the roster at DocSports.com. Don't forget to watch all of the guys' daily videos right here on the Doc Sports YouTube channel, seven days a week and just about 365 per year. For Doug, I'm Scott. Let's put him in the win column.